Hey guys, it's Rachel at From Moments to Milestones and I'm here to put together our Halloween project. Um, we use the We Are Explosion card punch board. Um, we also use papers from Photo Play. I think they're last year's Halloween, Monster Mash, but super cute. So this is the kit. Um, there's two separate kits, like a kit for the sleeve and a kit for the box, which I'm gonna walk you through. Um, this is the project. So it is a 3D sliding box. And so when you slide it open, all the fun explodes. So these are the little um, explosion card boxes that we're gonna make. They have tags inside. You could write sentiments on there. You might even be able to tuck in a gift card. I didn't try, but it should be close. Okay and you can put candy in there if you want you don't have to but it does fit you do get a little bit of confetti this will be something that comes from your punch board which i'll show you in a bit but um we are going to create the sleeve the sliding box and then these two cards so i'm going to start off by showing you how to create this box here okay um, I have these pieces already scored and cut and ready to assemble for you in your kit. Um, but I'm going to show you how I got to that point. So this is the explosion card punch board from We Are. And with it, obviously, you'll get instructions. And they're very nice instructions, very detailed. Um, and you in this it shows here you can make this box which is this a tray which this um, box would fit into if you also create the envelope so you can stick it in like so slide it in the envelope and then when you pull it out it would also pop out at you today we made this little slider box instead but um, those are the three things you can create with this punch board so i'm going to go ahead and get started and show you Unfortunately, I already did this once, but forgot to hit record. So um, this piece is already scored. But what you're gonna do is there is a score tool in your punch board. And I know you can't see this on camera, but right in here, it says box. Right here, it says envelope. And right here, it says tray. And so what that means is it tells you what size paper, 12 by 12, five by five, and an eight by eight to create those three things um, but it's going to tell you where to start so if i were making the envelope and i had an eight by eight piece of paper i would tuck my paper in here and score um, but i'm going to make the box so i'm going to tuck it in here up to the box mark and hold it and then i'm going to follow the score mark so i have one two three four five six seven eight which i've already done but you're just gonna pull down and you want to make sure that that doesn't move while you're doing that so all your score marks are in the right place okay so when you get all eight of those done you're going to pick up the paper you're going to flip it towards you so now my score lines are on are looking at me on the bottom here and then i'm going to turn it so that those lines are now on the right hand side and i'm going to tuck it back into my punch board okay and so you can see those some of those score marks line up number eight and number six so we're going to go back in and um, score on all those lines so one two three four five goes down the center six is already done seven and eight is also done okay so for now, I'm done with that. So I'm gonna tuck that back in. And so I'm not sure if those lines are showing up very well on the camera, but you have score marks. So what I'm gonna do, there's one portion of the paper down here that has no score marks. And we're gonna end up with some scrap. But what I'm gonna do is these, the top and the two sides have like triangles on the ends. And what I'm gonna do is fold those back Okay, I'm just gonna fold them on those lines 
and then I'm going to trim that off. So you can use scissors here if you want, or if you have a paper trimmer, if you like straight lines, you can do that. So I'm actually going to use a trimmer. So I'm going to put them into my trimmer and cut them off. But you certainly could use a long pair of scissors or, and just follow that score line. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you a little tip. I did hang on to all my scraps, and I'll show you why later. You'll see in your kit. All right, so now you have this piece, and not sure if you can tell, but the score lines, they're kind of going here, and it, it kind of creates a U, like an upside down U. And so we're going to take our scissors now, and can't tell if it's picking up. There's two score lines here. They're also up there as well. So I'm going to go to the outside score line and cut. And then I'm just going to follow those score lines. And I'm going to cut out that U. And you can tell, like on the inside, is where all those score lines kind of just fall off the page. And they and, and that's why, because you don't you don't need them. Oops, I'm not going in far enough. So you're just going to cut on the ones that are a for sure thing. All right, so this is scrap as well. So now you have this piece that looks like a U. And on the ends here you have these, you have two tabs. You only need one, so we're going to cut off one of them. And we'll just toss that. So now your paper should look like this. So now we're going to bring over our punch board again and we're going to turn it around and we're going to use the punch part. So just like over here, there are mark markings that tell you this says envelope, right here says box, and over here says tray. So um, depending on what you're making, like if I were doing the tray, you would put it in so that that corner butts up there and that's how you make that tab. Okay. But what we're doing is the box. So you're going to take this portion here. We want these punches. And that's what holds the rubber band on the inside. So you're going to take this piece and you're going to butt it up right there. Okay? So you can see that score lines there and we're going to punch. You're going to end up with that. Then you're going to flip it over, match it up again and punch. And now we need to come over and do this other side. Okay, like so. So then you end up with this piece that we're now going to create our um, little box card with. Okay, so in your kits, you should have two pieces that are black that look like this. Okay, so that's what we're going to work with to create these boxes. So now you know how we got there. I'm going to go ahead and get my pieces out from my kit. So there's lots of stuff in these kits, but what I'm going to ask you to do for now is just pull out those two pieces, those L-shaped pieces that look like that. Okay? So we will start with this one here. All right. So we've got our U-shape. What we're going to do is score or fold on those score lines. So there's one. And then you have one down the center of that. So I'm just going to fold and reinforce on all those lines. There's all the pieces folded. Okay. And then what we need to do is these two corners, we're going to glue together so that we end up with a piece that looks like that. So you'll have those two tabs. All right. So I'm going to flip it over and these are like valley folds. And I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to glue them together. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna put the glue on and fold it onto itself like so. I got a little messy with the glue. Okay. All right. So then you end up with a tab. Now it won't always match up perfectly, but that's okay. All right. So if, if your hearts aren't dead on, don't fear. It'll be okay. All right. So I'm going to do the other side. Do the same thing. Hold it onto itself so that we have this nice little tab. All right. So that's what you're going to end up with. Now, I did just skip a step, so we'll do it on the other one. Um, so let's do the other one. So in your kit, depending on the thickness of the cardstock that you use to create these boxes, mine are really sturdy, and I'm going to show you why. Because I um, now, when you layer up paper, it's going to make it sturdy as well. But this is kind of a thinner, softer cardstock. And so in your kit, you should have these extra squares of black. And then you should also have pieces that look like this. You should have four of those. So I forgot to put those on. Let's see if I can add them later. All right. So what we're going to do is reinforce this box to make it thicker. And I used the scraps. Um, when we made the box to make those squares. So you could save the scrap for something else or certainly I used it to reinforce um, my box. Um, I'm trying to reach my triangle, sorry about that. Um, so these triangles, I went like so, trimmed them off and then punched these holes in there again. And what I'm going to do before I fold them is glue those on. That's what I should have done on that one, but I may, I may be able to still get them on there like this, or I may just abandon ship on that. Okay. So that's what these pieces were intended for. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those on before I do any scoring. Got ahead of myself. Okay. So I'm just gonna glue those on and as close as you can get, you'll see why it doesn't really matter. We're gonna cut this, um, these tabs in there anyway so that our rubber band can go in so they don't have to be perfect. Nobody's gonna see, they just gotta be a place to, that the rubber band can hold. All right, so we'll glue this one on as well. All right, so now we can go back in and add those squares later. You can see here I punched in the wrong spot. We're gonna cover that up. Nobody's gonna be able to see it. So we're, so have no fear. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go score on these score lines. There we go. Okay. And then this one folds in. Like so. Okay. It being thicker it might be a little harder to fold it but that's what the bone folders for all right and then this little tab at the end all right so now it's all folded up we're going to look at those two face it so we see the two valleys ignore that and we're going to glue these together like so And I'm going to go and do the other one. So inside the valley, put the glue. Okay. All right. So then you end up with a piece that looks like that. I'm going to leave those unreinforced just 
because I'm not going to fuss with it now. That's okay. I'd say if you reinforced anything though, I would suggest reinforcing these because the rubber band's going to be pulling on them. So if it's too loose, it might um, not create enough resistance, but this will be fine. So before we put our box together, we are going to take scissors and we're just going to snip in there. It says you can tear it as well too. So if you wanna just try to tear it open like so, but that's how our rubber band's gonna slide in there. So we're gonna do that to bow. So tearing actually is pretty easy. Just gonna tear it open, okay? And now we're gonna put our box together. So you have this tab here, you're gonna put glue on and glue it to the inside. Okay. Glue. And we'll close up our box. All right. So there's your box. Now you do have these um, black square scraps and again, I got ahead of myself. I'm gonna glue those to the inside of the box. This is just a tip if maybe, you're, maybe you wanna use pattern paper for your exploding box and it's kind of thin. So by doubling it up or putting cardstock on the inside, it gets more sturdy. So I'm just gonna put glue on each one and put a piece on the inside and it's gonna sturdy up my box. Okay, there's one, two, three, and what's the this side here with the heart? We're just gonna cover that right up. Okay. We're gonna cover this up with pattern paper anyway, so nobody's gonna see that heart now that I have it all covered. So now this box certainly feels more sturdy than this box. All right, so you can do this part before we fold it up. So I'm gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna put some glue down and put these squares on. filled up my glue and it is just super full and oozing everywhere. Okay, last one. Put that in there. All right, so now my box is reinforced and now I'm gonna fold it up and glue it together. So you can choose to do that either way. It works both ways. But I just made sure that those were on the inside. All right. So look at that. We have our two little boxes created. So now in in the in your in your kit, you should have had um, two rubber bands. So what you're gonna do is in those openings, so you want the openings on the top, you're gonna slide those rubber bands into the opening, on one on each side, so that it goes down into the heart, and that's what holds it. So now you have resistance, that's what makes it pop. So we're gonna go in again, if you can see that. So our openings, our hearts are right side up. And I'm gonna tuck the rubber bands in. Now we can choose to do this step later. Um, I just wanted to show you how to do it now. That's how you would create those boxes. I'm actually gonna take my rubber bands out because they're easier to decorate. But if you don't want to, you certainly can leave them in and 
just glue to the box as it is. But I'm going to take them back out. Maybe. Okay. Set those aside so we don't lose them. So let's go ahead and decorate our boxes. All right. So I'm going to start with this one. You certainly do not have to copy exactly what I did. I did include pictures. It will look like this so you can see what I did on the boxes, but um, take some creative freedom here. So everything left in your kit, which I'm going to dump out, is to decorate both boxes. So what I'm going to start with is you should have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares of pattern paper, and they're double-sided. So if you really like uh, one versus the other, it's, it's really up to you. I chose to use one of each. Um, so let's start with, I'm just going to pick this box here. So we're going to start with this one. So I need the ghost. So I'm just going to put glue on the back. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, glue on the back. And I'm just going to put that ghost paper down. And you may have a little bit of a black border. Okay. And then here I have this Halloween icon paper. And that's going to go right there. Okay. I'm going to flip it over and behind there we have those diamonds and then we have the green plaid so on the diamonds okay and then the green plaid which is the back of the diamonds All right, so there's one box. I'm gonna set these four aside because they'll be for the other one. And then, so let's go back to those two. Um, you should also have, let's see, there's the tags. You should have four strips, smaller strips of pattern paper. So we have two green, a ghost, and a web. So I'm going to create a pocket here for my tag to go inside. And these tags are kind of large, so they fit just in there. So you don't have a lot of room, so you need a very thin amount of glue on the sides. And maybe, and on the bottom. And that's going to create our pocket. So I'm going to put it right over what's there. Okay. And then if you need to, you could always slide um, your phone folder or some scissors in there. Um, let me try a small pair of scissors. And make sure that you have an opening, okay? And then your tag slides in. So this tag has nothing on it, like so, all right? And then you should have, so you kind of dig around there, you should have a hey boo on white and a black strip of cardstock. So we're gonna put the hey boo onto the black. And then that is going to go right on top of that pocket. And I did pop it up. It's up to you. You don't have to. So I'm going to take a couple foam squares, pop that up. And just center it on there like so. And then we have a ghost. So I'm going to also put him on foam. I'm just going to use a couple. And you could, you know, put this ghost somewhere else, or if you wanted to write on this tag or tuck something else in, it's up to you. All right, and then here we have, I've created some rosettes for you. 
And so we're going to put one right there. And then let's find the eek is going to get glued on top. So I'll put the rosette down first. So it should have some kind of circle on the back. And I'm just going to center that in there. And then this eek can go right on top. I'll center that on the rosette as well. I'm going to hold that for a second. A stamp block might be a good idea here. All right, so there is that. And now we're going to flip it over and finish the other side. So we'll start with this. Um, web and it's a little long so I'm just gonna put it on there and then mark where I want to cut and then I'm just gonna trim those um, these parts right off that's easy to do so I'm gonna trim those off and then just cut on my little marks there And then I'm going to glue that down. I think I got any glue there. All right, so that's on. Okay, and then let's see, we need a couple bats. So this does not want to lay flat because the rubber bands are in there. Okay, so you have two bats. So you have a choice here. I layered mine on top of each other with foam in the middle just for the dimension. You could. Um, just use one and put another one somewhere else. You could have a couple of them. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to just stick with what I did previously, which was layer them up. So foam here, here, and there. And then I will put this one on top. So three pieces of foam. This one goes right on top. Now we have this layered bat. I put glue on the back and just stick him on. All right, and then over here we're going to create another pocket with another tag. So you should have a tag with the word spooky on it. So we're going to need that. And this green piece here to create our pocket. So just adhesive on the sides and the bottom, very thin amount. If you have um, like eighth inch score tape, that would be good here too. All right, just make sure that opens up. And then you can slide your tag in. All right, and then we have one more little guy. I have him up on foam as well. I'm not gonna put foam on the bottom so it'll slide over the uh, top of his, that tag, or the pocket. So like that. All right, so this box is done, and now I can go ahead and put my rubber band back in it, whatever I did with it. Here it is. So now that that one's done, I'm going to go in and tuck my rubber band again. And now it will really pop. Okay, so that one's done. I'm going to set that off to the side. And now let's work on our other one. So making sure your hearts are at the top. And we will start 
get it open flat here. I'll start right there. So we need the spider paper, which is stripes on the back. Okay, and then behind this tag, we have the web paper, so. That on. All right, and then over here, we're gonna use another rosette. So glue on the back of that. And some of these were really off center, but that's just the way it goes. Nobody's gonna be able to see that. And I'm gonna hold that down for a minute. Sometimes I don't have a stamp block, but if you have your phone handy, you could lay that on there to hold it for a minute. And then we have a cute little spider. So you have two spiders in your kit. Um, we're gonna take the smaller one and stick him on there. You can use foam if you want. I don't think I did, no. No, I think I just glued him right on, so. Good amount of glue, so he sticks to all those edges. I'll hold him on for a second. All right, so he's on, and then let's create our little pocket. So the same thing, just thin glue, both sides, and on the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna stick that on there to create our pocket. Might be fun here too to create a 3D pocket. So using foam to build up the top and bottom and maybe you could slide a little, a thin candy bar or candy into there. Um, that might be fun too. All right, so now I'm gonna slide my, I have one remaining plain tag. So we're gonna tuck that in. And then you have one more spider left and he is gonna, I'm gonna pop him up on foam as well. I'm gonna take a couple small pieces of foam and I, d I want him to, I don't want him to stick to that tag. So I'm gonna put it right there and there. And I think if I remember right that I went to the length to put it also on his, um, legs if you want but it's up to you all right so that side is done let's see what finish up the other side so you should have this orange paper and i believe this is striped back there okay before i do that this time i'm going to put this on first and then trim it down so let me do that makes it a little easier you can do what i did last time and use the pencil and Mark it and trim it. All right. So you're, you're, uh, there is little spiders on there, so if you want them going the right way, you might want to pay attention. All right. And then I'm just going to trim off the little pieces that are hanging off. All right. And now I can glue that piece on. Some of these I didn't get glue on the ends. So let me do that real quick. There we go. All right, so I stick my spider web on. Okay. And then this stripe, so you could have it go this way or that way, whatever works for you. This is a two and three quarters by two and three quarters square, so it should be the same on both sides. All right. Get these scraps out of here. All 
All right, and now we're going to add our little web um, pocket. Stick that on the bottom. Okay. Let's see what we have left. Talk to All right, we have a spider, a bat, and a star. So make sure that opens. I'm going to tuck my tag in there. And we have a bat, spider. I'm going to put a piece of foam on my spider. And you can put him wherever you want on your spider web. And then if he has two little eyes, you can poke him out or leave him. It's up to you. So there he is. And since they didn't poke out, now they're on the foam. I'm just going to take a white pen and give them little eyes. And then you have a bat and a star. So I have those kind of like so. I have it hanging off. And I think, actually, these stars, I think they have adhesive on the back. So I'm going to pull that off and just stick that down. And so now that one is complete. So we are going to put the um, rubber band inside. So go ahead and put it in. And... There we go. So now we have our little explosion box. They're so fun. Okay, so those boxes are complete. So now we're going to move. We'll just set those aside and we're going to move on to our sleeve in the box. So I'm going to clean up my area a little bit and grab so you should have a kit like this. I think yours says sleeve on it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out. A little pieces over here. All right. So let's see. Let's start with, you have this piece here, and it's folded up like so. So um, on mine, I'm going to pull mine over so we can look at it while we're making it. Um, I use the, um, the icons on the outside. Now you certainly could use the webs if you prefer, if that feels too busy or you just really like the spider webs, you could do that too. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to decide if I want to use the other side just for fun to have something different. All right, yep, I think I'm going to, just for just so you can see, in case you're not sure which way to go. So there are score lines. Um, they're folded on two of them already, but there should be another one on each side. So go ahead and score on those, or fold on those, I guess. They're already scored. All right, so then you end up with a piece that looks like this, and it's going to wrap around your box, okay? So what I'm going to do is, there's one score line, two score lines. I'm going to fold it on the second one, okay, like this. And then this one, there's one, two score lines. I'm going to score it or fold it on the first line and see how they match up. So I'm going to put glue, and you could use score tape. Actually, I'm just going to use some dry adhesive on the edge. So this one scored one, two on the second. This one scored on the first. And then press. And now you have your little box. I'm going to put the seam side down so nobody can see it. So now you have your little sleeve, okay? And 
Let's see, what do we need for the sleeve? You should have um, two of these. You should have a striped strip for the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna put those on. So I've got the top one at, or the thinner one at the top. And the thicker one on the bottom. easier if you really want to give them a good press to fold it down. All right, so it looks like that. And I do like the spider webs as well. Um, we have this piece and this. So you should have a green square with that on the back and this black square. So we're going to glue the green onto the black. Just center it on there. All right, and now you have the word trick or treat cut out. And I believe yours has adhesive on the back if it cut through all the way. If not, it should all still be together. But we're gonna just glue these letters on. So we have trick. All right, so my trick or treat is glued down. And I want to put that in the center of my box. But before I glue that down, I'm going to stick my little glue or my little glue guy, my little ghost. I'm going to put a foam square just behind his head. And then I'm going to put glue on the bottom. And so kind of get my placement here like so. I'll stick that down so it kind of looks like he's coming up from behind the sign. And then I did pop up the trick or treat. So some foam on that. All right, so the trick or treat is on foam. I'm just gonna kind of stick that right in there. Press it down. And then we have the spider, and he's right in here, so I'm going to put some foam on him as well. He's going to kind of hang off, so put it on that side, and then glue on the other side. Like so. All right, so there's that. I'm kind of not loving how he's hiding the words, so I'm going to peel them off real quick and move them a little bit before it dries. There we go. I like that better. All right. So there's that. And then we have some stars remaining. And I have a small one down here. You can pop those up if you want. They do have um, adhesive on the back if you just remove that um, backing. I have one down here. I have one here. And one up there. All right, so there is the top, the sleeve of your box. So now what we're, we're gonna create the box. So what you should have left is a piece of black cardstock with three score lines in the center, um, a little web piece of paper, and then this uh, black with the score lines, okay? So it is already um, folded for you, 
You may want to go in and reinforce them. You don't have to, so you're going to end up with that. And what we're going to do is take scissors and we're going to cut here, 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 and here. So just straight through on each one. And we're going to create tabs. So I'm going to cut straight up and then I'm just going to cut a little. I'm going to create a tab. So I'm going to cut like a little snip off of each. So you end up with that. And I'm going to do that on each one. So straight up the score line. A little snip. A little snip. I'm going to flip it over and do that again. So I believe the dimensions on this um, box were eight and a half or eight and a quarter by six and scored on one and a quarter on all sides. So that's how you got this piece here, but I think it's in your instructions. And so what you'll do is we're going to put glue on these tabs, fold it in to create this box. So glue. Hold it in and square it up. Do the other side. So now you have your little box here. So um, in the same way I talked about reinforcing your um, the explosion boxes, you could also reinforce this piece as well. Um, but I, I don't think it's necessary, so we didn't do that. So that is going to slide into your sleeve like so, okay? That we're going to make our little pool tab, which is the two remaining pieces you have. So what you're going to do, there's one, two, three score lines. You're just going to fold it in half on the first one, and we're going to glue it together so it'll be nice and sturdy. Okay, so we're just going to glue it together. And then go ahead and fold it whichever way you want to. All right, so I don't know if I did that on camera. So we glued it together in half, folded it in half, glued it together, and then I'm going to fold. So then you end up with a piece that looks like this. Um, and that piece is going to go inside your box like so. So I'm going to put glue on the back. And I'm just going to center it on my box. Well, I want it centered. Okay. And press it together. And now you have your little tab. And that's what this little um, web piece of paper is for, just to decorate your tab. And stick that on there like so. And now, let's stick that inside. All right, so now we have made our sleeve, our box, our two um, explosion cards, and then you should have remaining in your kit this confetti, okay? Open that up, fold it over so there's no sticky, okay? So what you're gonna do is take your cards, these box cards that we made, and you wanna fold them against so that you're creating resistance with that rubber band. So fold it so it stretches out the rubber band, and then you're going to lay them in the box. Now, if, if for some reason your tags are too long and it won't allow it to lay down, just trim off the bottom of your tag. Nobody's going to know if maybe your pocket was too thick on the bottom. Okay, so if that's a problem, you can make that, make that fix. Mine seem to fit. 
and then we're going to put in our confetti on top of that layer so if you have any candy that you want to throw in there um, you don't want to bog it down too much but you certainly can so i'm going to put those little pieces of, those little hearts that came from making the card so i'm going to put that in between so it pops out when that bottom layer pops out and see i'm holding it down because if i don't it's going to pop right up and then we're going to fold this other one same way resistance stretch out the rubber bands and you can choose what you see i don't think it really matters and put that in so they're both laying in there like so and then we're going to slide them into our sleeve and now you have your your cute little explosion card sliding box so now when they open it they're going to get a fun surprise so that is our uh, video for today i hope you enjoyed this little project if you would like to purchase a kit you can head to our website www.frommomentstomilestones.com and um, we should have a link there for the kits so this again is the explosion card box kit featuring monster mash uh, papers from photoplay Thanks for watching.